Hey everyone, welcome back to PSTAT 5A. Here's example two. So for this problem, it's very similar to the example one. The only difference is instead of being given the probability labels directly, they're kind of disguised in these sentences. So we have to do a little bit of deciphering first. So let's read through it and work this example out. Problem reads, in a recent survey of pet owners, it was found that 60% of them own a dog. Out of the dog owners, 12% also own a cat. And then 10% own a pet that is neither a dog nor a cat, maybe something like a bird or a fish, anything like that. And the question is finding the percentage of owners that own both cats and dogs. So what I want to start with will be to label the events that are given. So we're given piece of information regarding dog and cat owners. So let's start there. Instead of using A's and B's, I like to use letters that make sense. So here I'm gonna let the letter D represent dog owner. And C to represent cat owner. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take these given piece of information right here, the 60%, the 12%, this 10% and actually try to make sense of them using the events that we've labeled. So the first one's straightforward, 60% of them own a dog. So now I can just rewrite that. Let's label it here as the given information that the probability, oops, that we have a dog owner is 0.6. And then in this next part, it reads out of the dog owners. So what I noticed there out of these dog owners is that I'm not talking about the entire survey of pet owners, but only dog owners. So that is a conditional statement. So given we're looking at the dog owners, 12% of them also own a cat. And finally, 10% own a pet that is neither dog nor cat. So that means that they do not own a cat. So there's the superscript C for compliment and at the same time, they do not own a dog. So my advice is to do this, is to label the given information in terms of probability notation. This will allow you to simply find a formula or a rule that allows us to substitute numbers into. So question asks, what percentage owns both cats and dogs? I see both, I see and. So when I write this, this is simply just the intersection, C and D. And so now we have to wrap together. Well, here's the given information. Here's what we're trying to find. Is there a rule that connects them? And we do have a rule. So the rule I'm gonna use is the conditional rule that says probability of C given D is the intersection, which is what we're trying to find, divided by the condition. And once that rule is in place, I can see, do I have all the numbers? In this case, I do, and now I can just substitute. So the conditional here is given as 0.12, the intersection cats and dogs is what we're looking for. And then the denominator D is given us 0.6. So therefore I can do some algebra and finally solve for the unknown C and D. And that result ends up being 0, 0.72. And that does it for this first part. All right, on to part two. Same information here. Now the question asks, what percentage owns cats but no dogs? So there are two conditions that need to be satisfied. So it's going to be an intersection problem again. However, since we don't want to include dog owners, we want cat owners, then we'll have this complement here. So this is expression C and D comment, which we've already seen from example one in an earlier video. So if I'm gonna use the rule from that video, then what I can write down is this. And 
And this is simply a way to partition any one of these events. So what we're saying with this rule right here is that if you combine the intersection of cat, dog, cat owners and dog owners plus cat owners and non-dog owners together, that makes the total of cat owners. So the nice thing is from part one, we've already solved for this expression. We got 0.072. The problem is I don't know what this expression is, and then I'm asked to find this one. So we have a little bit of work to do. So let's open up a second sheet here, and we'll begin working that part out. All right, so here we're gonna work out how to find probability of C. So if I go back to the given piece of information we haven't used, we were given that the percentage of non-cat owners and non-dog owners was 0.10. Now what I can do is I can see how to use this. And what I like to use frequently is a Venn diagram. So if I draw my Venn diagram, this box represents the sample space, everything that can happen. I'll go ahead and draw in the cat owners and the dog owners. So cat owners. And then dog owner, so here D and here C. Now the point 10 that we're given is the fraction of pet owners that don't own either pet. So that means they're in the space out here. So this is the 10%. So what that means for us now is the remainder whether you're a dog owner or a cat owner, that is going to be 90% because again, the entire sample space needs that one. So what we can learn from this piece of information here is that the probability that you are a cat owner or a dog owner is the complement of the 10% or the 90%. And then from here, I can take advantage of my addition rule again, knowing that the OR rule is simply the sum of your two events and we'll subtract off the intersection. And so some examples are like this where you are missing more than one piece of information and you have to do multiple steps in order to plug in all the pieces. So now we just found this here, the union was 0.9. Remember again, we're looking for a probability of C so that we can go back and plug into our original equation. Probability of D was given to us. And from part one of this problem, the intersection was also calculated and we solved that to be 0.072. And so the workaround here is such that I'm just playing the game of plugging in puzzle pieces as long as I use appropriate rules. And so from this line here, we only have one unknown remaining. And so now I can solve for this piece and end up getting, if my math here is correct, 372. So now we're gonna go back and plug this into the original question so that we can finally answer part two here. Okay, so back to the original problem here. Remember that this question was asking, what's the chance we have a cat owner but not a dog owner? And the rule we wrote in was the rule of total probability where we partition all the cat owners into owners that own cats and dogs and also owners that own cats and no dogs. Now, earlier we solved for the intersection and, and then we also on a separate slide showed how to calculate probability of C. And so now we can just shove everything in. So here I'll copy down again. This is what the question's asking. From part one, we found the intersection was 0 0.072. 
And then we also solved using that Venn diagram that the probability of C is 0.372. And so now it took a little bit of time, it took a couple of steps, but we do have a simple rule that we can plug into and finally find what's the chance someone owns just a cat and no dog. So that for us ends up being 0.30. And that is it.